Hey everybody, welcome back to Richter Knife. This is episode seven. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a long-term review on this 71 Bullnose. Uh, I've seen all kind of reviews on the 71 Bullnose and there's, <laughs> there might be hundreds out there. I don't, know, I don't know, there's a lot. I've watched plenty of them myself. I've seen the green micarta, the red micarta, the black. Uh, I've pretty much seen them all. I've seen this natural canvas um but what i haven't seen a lot of is a long-term review i've had this knife for five years now i've used it for five years what you're about to see is a knife that's actually been used been sharpened um and you can tell by the way it looks this is not any forced patina or anything like that this is a real life used knife i'm going to kind of tell you uh kind of an overview of it and then kind of tell you how i feel about it let you look at it and we'll go around it um so very first thing um i made this slip for it and i kind of tried to mimic that my car to texture and i wanted it thick you see that's not really thin leather that's a real thick leather and i wanted that white stitching and you see where i put a 71 right there I'm not a tooler. This is about as good of tooling as I can do. But I wanted this knife to have its own slip. Something unique. Here's the back side. And uh, I'll put this here for a lanyard. But really there's no need since I have one on the knife. Uh, you might have seen this last night in my um, video about lanyards when I put one on my 47 bull nose. I'm sorry, 47 Viper. If you didn't see that, go back and watch it. So, uh, oh, hey, shout out to Georgia Adventure. He sent me this. This is awesome. Look at this tank. And it's got microfiber right here. So you can wipe down your knives or your glasses or whatever. Pretty cool. America right thank you George Adventure appreciate that so let's look at the tube real quick 71 5118 natural canvas micarta this is a great eastern cutlery uh, they're farm and field uh, knives they also have a GEC a north field right unexcelled and a titty version uh, not of this exact bullnose, but uh, this farm and field tool 71 bullnose is made in 1095 carbon steel and it says right there work knife and buddy it's a work knife so you can pause it if you want to look at that but there's your look at the tube I got this a long time ago in a trade and it's been probably it's my oldest GEC and you'll see I've dropped it on the ground I've sharpened a lot of it so the blade is not even the same size it was when I first got it let's check this out I'll just let you look at it just for a second here's your back spring and you can see where I've dropped it before. It's hit the ground. It's got patina back here on the back side. On the back spring. And you see that micarta has darkened up quite a bit. You've got some patina on the blade. On the spine here. This side, you can see it's not really dirty, I would say, but it's got a lot of use. And that micarta has soaked all that in. At one time when I dropped it here, um, <clears throat> it dented up the, the covers and like put little dings in it from the rocks. And it was on white rock, which was horrible. And uh, it looked terrible. So what I did is I sanded it down this micarta here and left it kind of rough and over the years it has just kind of you can see the light spots that's kind of where I sanded it 
over the years it's just kind of taken on this whole personality i've never seen a pocket knife with this much character and i think that's why i keep it around actually before i dropped it i really didn't care that much about it to be honest with you um as soon as i dropped it and it started getting character i just started loving this thing there's your centering and i put a lanyard on it <coughs> with this uh it's a bolt spacer um, that's all it is i just went to tractor supply and got a bolt spacer but you could tell that it's actually patinaed just like that back spring just like the blade let's check out the blade and these bad boys have pulls on them um that's about you hear that that's that's a solid eight that's a solid eight this probably has more pull than any of my knives <clears throat> There we go. There's your blade. You can tell it's got patina on it. The oils, the, I don't know, everything that this thing cuts just, it just tells a story. You could tell where I grab it. It's a little cleaner. And you see the blade stock is considerably thinner. I don't even know if you can see the uh, etching anymore mm -hmm. it did have a bullnose etching there that's gone there's your pivot i love that that f and f usa and pardon the chicken noises and the tractor noises <laughs> anyways there's a walk and talk So when I first got it, <clears throat> I didn't like it that much, but it kind of reminded me of my k -Sod Buster. It's really thick, and just to give you a, let's move this, a size comparison. Here is a case trapper. So that's really close. Also, you can see the <laughs> thickness. This is a single blade and a two blade trapper so it's kind of thick kind of like those yellow Delrin um, sod busters that case makes they make them thick so you can grab a hold of that that's a real work knife right there you can do something with this knife you know and you can EDC it every day if you want to but there's your size comparison. Case trapper, everybody knows that. That's a large trapper. Also here is the case sod buster. Similar size, this one's a little bigger, a little taller. And the bone case trappers are not as thick. See, this one is way thicker. Let's look at the blades. So you could see this one had kind of a thicker blade at the belly and I've sharpened most of that out. <clears throat> uh, I don't care what you say. After five years of use, if you actually use your knife, you're going to use some blade steel um, <clears throat> on a 1095. Uh, I've sharpened it and stropped it. And most of my knives, except this one actually, the, the blade's all there. Because I strop a lot more than I sharpen. I'm pretty conservative with the steel. I don't want to get rid of all the steel. But this one has just been used so much. And it's been chipped on the blade. And that's kind of why I kind of sharpened that out. When I first got it, it had um, blade wrap. It would hit that back spring. It doesn't anymore. Because I've lost some of that blade. So that's actually a good thing. But you could put this in your pocket. I did make that slip for it. But actually, I normally just throw this in my pocket. And uh, I grab it with this lanyard and pull it out. And I'm really not scared to use this at work. Um, 
I'm really not scared to get it dirty if I'm working on my engine or if I'm uh, out in the chicken coop or if I'm in the shop or really doesn't really matter. I, I'm not scared to use this because number one, look at it. I think the more you use it, the better it is. So five year review. I think when I first got it, I would have given this on a Richter scale <clears throat> about a set, six or a seven. I give this on the Richter scale a good nine. Just the way it is right here. I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't trade this for a brand new one. No way, no how. It took a lot of years, well five of them, to get it looking this way, to get my personality on it. I wouldn't trade it. This is my knife. And when you get your knife looking like that, you don't want to get rid of it. So, I want to do a quick review on this knife. I think it's my first uh, real feature knife review. I don't think I've reviewed one single knife yet. <clears throat> but this kind of needs to be the first one. It was my, not my first GEC, but this is my oldest GEC. I've gotten rid of my first one. I traded it for something, some sharpening stones, I believe. But um, one more look around. All right. Seventy one Farmerfield tool GC right there. Mike, I'm out.